Hi, uh, this video will demonstrate how to use Practica's own online booking system. Practica can work with a variety of online services, but it also has its own system. So I will first mark um, available slots for online booking for tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. For that, I will go to my appointment book, switch to the provider schedule mode, select online booking, and we'll start marking the slots. So I'm marking the slots on top of the provider uh, colors. So those slots uh, will be published, uh, in this case, to Practica's online uh, appointment system. And patients uh, will be able to uh, see those slots, uh, choose them, and create appointments. So I'm only um, really adding um, the appointments to a couple of days, but I think I have um, already published um, some of the slots previously, so I have probably three or four days of uh, slots um, already published. Um, you can see that the slots um, are marked um, with uh, an icon um, that uh, indicates that uh, this slot is published um, online uh, for, for um, the patients to to select. And um, this is Practica's slots. Uh, you can also choose other services like Health Engine and you will see that it'll look a bit different uh, in terms of, of the graphics. Um, so the Health Engine slots are marked um, uh, with the Health Engine icon and they are available uh, via the Health Engine online booking system. Okay, so now it's all done. It's all ready. So I've saved that. And now I'll go to a website which has uh, a widget um, that allows uh, patients to actually go find the appointments and book them. Um, so uh, when they click on the, um, on, on the widget, um, they can then choose uh, which practice they want to do appointment with. This is a multi-location practice. Then they, they, and they've chosen a test practice uh, at Hawthorne. Uh, then they can choose uh, a date or the date range so by default it is today, um, so they can choose tomorrow or they can choose any, any particular day from the calendar. So then they click Find Appointments and uh, then the next screen lists all the available appointments um, uh, separated by, by doctors um, um, and these are the appointments that I have just drawn in my uh, appointment book. So uh, the patient uh, is selecting the appointment at 3 o'clock p.m. with Dr. Simon Walterson and uh, proceeds to uh, the patient um, authentication form. So patient chooses um, uh, whether he has been to this clinic before or hasn't been, uh, or patient is not sure, then types in um, the first name, last name, and all the other data. Um, it is uh, immediately validated uh, in terms of the validity of the data. Um, they can type date of birth uh, in any format uh, um, possible and, and, and it will actually convert it to the correct, correct um, format. Um, some fields are uh, compulsory. A mobile field, first name, last name, date of birth are compulsory fields. Um, they can also type in their address. Address is not compulsory. Um, it's using um, Google Google address um, to to quickly enter uh, the addresses. Email uh, if they like. Um, um, it's not compulsory, but they will get then receive a confirmation uh, via email and um, a note or reason uh, for the appointment. Uh, they can type in here. Um, they need to agree uh, with the terms and conditions of the online booking. So for that, they need to tick to tick the checkbox. Um, I agree with the terms and conditions for online booking. Um, the terms and conditions are available on the link. And you know, once it's all uh, filled in, this is the appointment on the 24th of March at 3 o'clock with Dr. Simon Walterson. They make the booking. Uh, at this stage, um, a code, a validation code, or verification code is sent to their mobile number um, and um, uh, once they receive um, the code uh, they can enter it and verify that the appointment is coming from a verified person. So you can see there are details of the appointment uh, over there and um, a map and this appointment is confirmed so they are immediately receiving 
the confirmation that the appointment is confirmed. They can add uh, the appointment to any of the um, calendars or reminders or, 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 or schedulers if they wish to. And here we are. So the appointment is, uh, is in the book. So you can see it there at 3 o'clock um, on Tuesday, the 24th of March, with Simon Walterson. And these are the notes of the appointment uh, with the person who we named a Mr. Online Tester. So uh, the notes are there. And if we look at his, uh, this person's uh, personal details, you will see that uh, first name, last name, mobile number, the address, and the email are already there. And um, um, there is an important note in the personal file that this particular patient record uh, was created via the Practicus Online system. And uh, you get a little icon uh, in the appointment that indicates that this appointment has actually been uh, created by the online, online um, system. And as I said, they also receive an email, and the practice uh, is also receiving uh, an email, um, a copy of the email indicating that the um, uh, appointment was made um, and uh, that it has been processed and the new patient record uh, was created in the system.